The materials that we're using, these rods, were materials invented by a school teacher in Belgium. Whose name was George Cuisinier. Actually, his name is Emile George Cuisinier. And um, in 1953, Caleb uh, Catenio, who at that time was teaching at the London School of Education, the London Institute of Education, he was invited, that is, Catania was invited to go to Belgium to assess to assess to assess, to evaluate the work that George Cuisinier was doing with his students. Because George Cuisinier students who work in primary school were able to perform calculations, complex calculations, but with facility, easily. So they were able to perform arithmetic calculations beyond their grade level. George Cuisinier invented these rods based on his knowledge of music. And so the rods, when Caleb Catenio saw what George Cuisinier was doing with the rods, Catenio at that time had already two PhDs. Two P? Two PhDs. Two doctors. One in mathematics. The other in psychology. 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 So he was able to, Katenya was able to recognize that the rods of Cuisinier contain an answer, a solution to the teaching of mathematics. With regards to the fact that since the rods represent the rational number system, and they embody the algebraic relationships that are at the basis of the rational number system. The algebraic structure of the rational numbers. But that's what Catenio saw in the materials. So, uh, Cuisinier had been working with his students for 23 years before Catenio met him. And it was only in 1952 that Cuisinier published a little book called Numbers in Color. Numbers in Color. Numbers in Color. 
Yes. Numbers in common? Yes. Okay, no problem. And then in 1954, Cuisinier and Gattegno published a book by the same title. In which Gattegno presented the materials beyond where George Cuisinier had taken them. Et Jean Claude Gattegno qui présentait le matériel de l'Allemagne, c'est comme ça, qui signait, qui signait, qui présentait pas du tout. So that's a little background to the material. Donc c'est une petite histoire et un background sur le produit matériel. There's a lot more story than I could tell you, but we, little by little.